Once we have installed the Vault server, we are going to start the application and log in using the administrator account with no password. Because this is a clean vault, it's always a good idea to back this up so that we can go back to the default settings at any time. But once we're logged in, we simply click on the Tools menu and select Backup and Restore. Here we have a three-step wizard in which we are able to choose whether this is a backup or restore function. I'm going to select Backup. Because this is the initial backup, I only have the option for a full backup. If I had already done this step, I could also select an incremental backup, in which case only the differences between the two databases and file stores would be backed up. They would be kept in individual folders so that I could restore from any of these differential backup locations. Next, I select the backup path for the backup. In this case, I have a folder on my C drive where I will locate these. Finally, I can choose for the backup procedure to validate all backed up files. This is a good choice when doing full backups. However, because of the additional time, one should consider if this is necessary for every backup that occurs. If we had standard content center libraries to backup, we could check this box as well. I don't have any in this vault, so I will uncheck the box. Also, because I do not uh, have replication set up, I will also leave the final box unchecked as well. I will select Finish and complete the backup process. Now that I have a manual backup, I can also schedule an incremental backup to occur. So I will again click on the Tools menu and select Scheduled Backup. Here I'm going to pick the location uh, of my backup by selecting the glyph on the right hand side. And select the full backup that I previously created. Because I may not have the ADMS console open when the backup occurs, I'm going to use the administrator credentials. Next, I select the incremental backup tab and select the box to schedule an incremental backup. I'm going to pick the date and time that I want the backup to occur. Again, I have the choices to either validate the backed up files on backup or to ignore the replicated files if I desire. The final step is to choose which days I would like this backup to occur. When finished, go ahead and click OK. You've now successfully manually backed up your vault as well as created a scheduled backup.